Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on how to use Ocean Tiger's maintenance system. On the left hand part of the user interface you can add, edit, and delete components to build the component tree. On the right hand part of the user interface is information specific to the selected component. The specification tab that you can see here is for displaying additional component information. Information that can be filled out here includes information about component make, critical for safety, and miscellaneous info. On the Jobs tab, you can see the jobs attached to the selected component. Expired jobs are marked in red on the list. Note that there are two types of jobs, one type with running hours and one type with date interval. To be able to add jobs using the running hour interval, it's necessary to add the component to the running hour list. When updating the running hour list, jobs will be affected based on what number is entered on the component. In this case, 3000 running hours is entered for this component. Since the main component is now 3000 and the running hour jobs in the list expired at 2250 running hours, they're now marked as expired in the list. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to add a job into the system and explain more about running hours and date interval expiring jobs. First, I'll fill out some of these fields real quick. As you can see here, you can select the expire type. You can select between date and running hours. If the component is not set up to use running hours, you'll not be able to select running hours as an option here. The job we're adding now is a date expiring job with a one month expire interval and is for the machine department. So let's fill out the rest of the fields for that now. As you can see, our new job was added to the end of the list. When a job is expired or the job has been completed by the staff on board, it's time to sign out the job in the system. Note that when signing out a job, the running hour performed field will be disabled if the job signed out is a date interval job, which is the case right here. Fill out the performed by and description and click OK. An item will be created for the signed out job in the component history list. In the cases where unscheduled events occur, such as total engine breakdown or the replacement of an engine, it's necessary to add an unscheduled event to record the event in the history log so it's possible to track the event. To add an unscheduled event, right click on the component where you want to add the event. A window will pop up letting you enter some information about who's completing the event and a description of what happened. I went ahead and filled out some info in the window real quick. The unscheduled event will show up in the history of the component. Note that when you change a component, such as replacing the engine, it's also necessary to update all jobs affected with zeroed out running hours and new expire dates, because the old dates and running hours were in reference to the old component, or the engine in this example. I'll demonstrate a couple of the maintenance reports available in the system. The component list displays a list of all the components in the system, grouped by main component. The job orders report shows jobs that need to be addressed before the date and running hours specified in the report filter window. Feel free to explore the other reports on your own. Thank you for watching this introduction video to Ocean Tiger's maintenance system. For more details, take a look at the program documentation.